as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. We shall recognize each other. Then shall I know, even as also I am known. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12. We shall know our friends, even as the disciples knew Jesus. They may have been deformed, diseased or disfigured in this mortal life, and they rise in perfect health and symmetry. Yet, in the glorified body, their identity will be perfectly preserved. In the face radiant with the light shining from the face of Jesus, we shall recognise the lineaments of those we love. The redeemed will meet and recognise those whose attention they have directed to the uplifted Saviour. What blessed converse they have with these souls. I was a sinner, it will be said, without God and without hope in the world. And you came to me and drew my attention to the precious Saviour as my only hope. Others will say, I was a heathen in the heathen land. You left your friends and comfortable home and came to teach me how to find Jesus and believe in him as the only true God. I demolished my idols and worshipped God, and now I see him face to face. I am saved, eternally saved, ever to behold him whom I love. Others will express their gratitude to those who fed the hungry and clothed the naked. When despair bound my soul in unbelief, the Lord sent you to me, they say, to speak words of hope and comfort. You brought me food for my physical necessities, and you opened to me the word of God, awakening me to my spiritual needs. You treated me as a brother. You sympathized with me in my sorrows and restored my bruised and wounded soul so that I could grasp the hand of Christ that was reached out to save me. In my ignorance, you taught me patiently that I had a Father in heaven who cared for me. You read to me the precious promises of God's word you inspired in me the faith that he would save me. My heart was softened, subdued, broken, as I contemplated the sacrifice which Christ had made for me. I am here, saved, eternally saved, ever to live in his presence and to praise him who gave his life. For me. What rejoicing there will be as these redeemed ones meet and greet those who have had a burden in their behalf, and those who have lived not to please themselves but to be a blessing to the unfortunate who have so few blessings, how their hearts will thrill with satisfaction.